put it to the end. All right, I'm going to start off by telling you we're taping this, and I'm going to ask you some questions, and hopefully we can get a wonderful conversation going oh, on. We're going to have, have wonderful <laughs> conversations. I like your energy. Oh, thank you so much. I just want to say welcome. I'm so honored that you would do this for us. I mean, I was always interested by you, but then hearing that you had training, you know, both in Obeya and other, I'll let you explain it, but that you had a background, which I also have a background too, so that was really pleasing to me that, that I could get to talk to you. So I'll let you start by telling me how you got interested in all of this, how you started. Well, you know, here's the thing, and, and I, I think you understand it too. It, it, first of all, thank you for having me on it. I am honored because I got goosebumps all up and down my body and my arms right now. <laughs> it's exciting to connect. Um, uh, but I uh, come from a family, um, uh, people all around me who what some may refer to as spooky people, you know? Yes. But no disrespect to anyone. But in my household, my where I grew up, there were all kinds of little altars all around the house. I didn't understand what they were about. I'm five, I'm six, I'm seven. I just know they're there. Um, and then at age 14, I had my first encounter or my first visitation from a spirit. And yeah. I, it was an uncle of mine who had died. And we were very, very close. I mean, he was a, a, a significant foundation of my life. And he came and he saw me and I looked at him and I said, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> and, um, you know, I figured there is something wrong with this picture. You know, I only have a little time. Uh, and then he, he rushed through something. He said, okay, now I got to go. And I remember getting up in the morning time, running to find my mommy and my daddy. I said, what? is that? And she said, oh, that your uncle just came to visit you. And that was the end of the conversation. And uh, I was always understanding that things were more than what we saw. Right. That wasn't unusual. I was raised Catholic, um, which is not unusual either. Every Vodun, every Obia Bush woman I know uh, is Catholic. Right. Um, and there's not a problem with being Catholic, right? That's no, not. No, 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 no. Catholic is fabulous. I'm just saying that there is a very close connection yes. between things. You know what I'm saying? In that vibration. So when people um, speak to what I do as evil or the devil mm. or something like that, I say, no, no, no. These women were devout Catholics. Yeah. Um, I don't like so much structure. I don't like. Uh, absolutes. So I have mm -hmm. pulled away from it as a personal choice. Um, but neither I also went to an AME. I tried a little bit of everything in search of, which I think anybody should. Right. Um, because everything, in my opinion, can contribute to your greater knowledge. Because no matter how much you try and find, you won't you won't surmise but this much. You know. Um, so uh, at 18, I, I stumbled into what my ability was. Um, and I had remembered my grandmother showing me something uh, at a very young age. And I kind of held it in my, in my head. And she had left me a little bag uh, before she crossed over. And somebody had upset me. And I sat down not knowing what I was doing um, and dealt with it. And then became very frightened of it um, and very unsettled by what I could see when I would close my eyes. And so I stepped away from it for a couple of years until the universe, the spirit, right. brought me to my teacher. Um, and then, then the journey began. Um, and uh, I, I often uh, say that we were like the karate kid, wax on, wax on, <laughs> teacher. You know, because in, in, yes. in ancient Obia, in Yoruba, in Muti, there is no writing down of anything. Of course. You know, it is very different than to Wicca and other disciplines. Sure. We don't write. It has to be mouth to mouth. Right. Um, so in that responsibility, uh, you then have to be prepared to, you know, pass it along or to share it along. Yes. Uh, so um, when she got a hold of me, I was a very fiery uh, child, I, I have nothing but fire around me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, I was, I certainly had a, my, an old soul with a mind and a mouth to match. <laughs> I've never disrespected 
That's beautiful. One, and here's no disrespect right. to anything. Um, when I was uh, in, in Catholic school, you know, and, and those of you who may be Catholic, um, you have your Holy Communion in a, usually in a second grade, you know, seven years old. Um, and so there was all of the preparation and the catechism. And then when we got to the rehearsal, and the priest looked at me and said, the body and blood of Christ. I lost it in the church. I said, oh, no, they had to call my mother. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. That's not going in here. I'm such a child. That's beautiful. I, I used to, to formulate things in my sure. head. Sure. You know, it was like, but that doesn't match, you know. No. Because I, I love, I love. I, lo I am a very out of the box kind of thinker, so I don't separate other life graces and beings and intelligence separate from Obia and Wudu. I think that there is like an arc to all of it. You know? Yeah, no, I agree um, with you. And these individuals and many of the things that we practice and we resonate with actually didn't originate here. They originated somewhere else, but in that arc we have brought in a mingling you know, yes. of, of everything. Um, I have always been very fascinated uh, with the Gnostics because there was a very different teaching. Yes. Um, and, and so when I say, like, I'm not sure if that's the way you mean it, when I say I am a different kind of woman, I have stepped outside and was encouraged by my teacher to step outside of what she taught me. Right. And to learn beyond that. And so even in, in communities, there are some who would disregard me as a mambo because I don't stick to the tradition. Right. Um, but that was not what I was taught. There right. are many things that I don't stick to tradition on. Um, right. But I have spent uh, many years practicing Egyptian numerology, which is different from European numerology mm. because the Egyptians counted differently. Right. The zero dynasty mattered, you know what I'm saying? So yes. right there, the math will be skewed. Um, it does not fail me. Uh, so that is a tool that I, I use often. I am very open. Um, I work with a Tibetan singing bowl. Oh, beautiful. Uh, Tibet, their voodoo, very strong. Uh, very powerful. Person. It is. I work with somebody who does a voodoo Buddhist class, and she has worked a lot with, you know, the Buddhist temple out in Bloomington with the Dalai Lama's brother. Yeah, and she's married to my priest, Lou, who wrote the voodoo tarot. So, yeah, I can see how voodoo, we call it voodoo Buddhist. <laughs> they, they come together. I yes. Mean, it's a place where you start to recognize that all of this, you know, all of this is, is kind of noise. You know, right. and you have to quiet yourself. Now, I also um, uh, did uh, midwifery for a while. I, I, some some women, some mothers, I carry them through to their pregnancy. Their husbands prefer a more traditional birth. There have been some where I am right. right there in the room and brought them into the room. I preside over weddings. I do house cleansings. Probably many of the same things um, that you do. But we have a community, a village. You know, and and we. I'm very uh, possessive. <laughs> <laughs> it's my village. You know, I don't care how far and wide. Sure. Um, and I have been reading for clients or my village um, for, my goodness, long before I went on to television. You right. Know, with this, uh, the Psychic Friends Network as their post spokesperson. And still thereafter, my, my life didn't stop as a mambo. You know, I, right. I work every day. You know what I'm saying? I people are in need of many things every day, um, and I've seen children go from six to twenty-six. My clients stay with me because we are family, right? And it's not about money. I have some can't afford to pay me a damn dime. Do you think that stops me from doing and helping? No, right? Because I have children. I hope someone is kind to my children. I have other people out there, and the spirits that I work with, even if they belong to somebody else. They're always so gracious to come and help me with somebody else. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. How I live and that's how I believe it works. That's you really know, beautiful. It's not about belief. Let me take that back. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I, I'm very, in the last couple of years since we have moved through the last, the, the ninth configuration of the Aztecan calendar, 
I have been very clear about communication because they are they are purposely doming us up. So I right. <laughs> I agree. When you believe in something, it is faith that drives you. See? When you know something, it is because you have experienced it. So there are things that I know, and I know what I practice and, and what I navigate through and what I ritualize and how I move and check in and move about. I know that that sustains me. I know that it helps me. I know that it helps many. Um, but we have been conditioned all manner of ways. Fortunate enough for me, I grew up in a household where there was nothing odd about that. Right. Now, we weren't told to go talk to people outside, you know? Right. Um, uh, but everybody had a bushwoman, you know what I'm saying? And they were auntie so-and-so. Yes. You know I mean? <laughs> mine, was, mine was Aunt Beulah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whenever Aunt Beulah was talking, beautiful. Was like, uh-oh, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, but it was a small yes. little round thing, dark like chocolate, but she still managed to have rosy cheeks. Ha, <laughs> that's beautiful. She was just light. You yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Light. And I just was always around the corner looking. <laughs> um, but this is what we grew up in. Um, now, I have brothers who don't want, you know, God rest all of their souls. I lost my last brother uh, last year. And, um, you know, most of them were like, yeah, no, we're not really trying to roll with it. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. All, have, all of it can have a negative kind of sure. because of things that have gone on before us. Of course. Do you think.